what's up everybody welcome back to the channel today I went out to a GPAA claim by the name of the double J and gathered up some dirt classified it down to a quarter inch and brought it back home because today we are going to conduct a coil test for the gold monster 1000 we're going to be conducting a test with both coils the five inch round and the 10 by six elliptical coil we're going to be doing a test um, in auto one and auto two on both coils and um, the reason we're going to do auto one and auto two is because realistically that's what you're going to probably be using out there in the gold fields um, if you run into some super low mineralized areas you might get down into some hotter settings but in all reality auto one and auto two is most likely what you're going to be working with so that's what we're going to do today with the test we have seven different targets that we're going to use today to conduct this test the smallest of which was found out here in arizona the rest in mariposa california the small one is 0 0.01 of a gram very very tiny the next size up from there is 0 0.11 of a gram so basically a tenth of a gram and the next one from there is 0.55 of a gram so basically a half gram the next one from there is 1.24 grams then we have 3.37 grams a 6.97 gram and then the big piece you see there is a 69 gram piece but it's a specimen um, with quartz and gold I've done a, a specific gravity test on it and I estimate that there's probably about 28 to 30 grams of gold in there um, and another thing about that piece is that the gold is in a thin layer not too thin a pretty nice layer of that goes all the way through the rock so the whole width that whole surface area of that rock is gold so it's a major big target we're gonna try that to see what happens with the small coil and the big coil and what kind of advantages you might have on bigger targets so with that said let's go ahead and jump into it so right now we're in auto one and we have the zero 0.01 of a gram piece basically sitting on the coil I'll give it a sixteenth of an inch an eighth of an inch at most so let's go ahead and see how the metal detector sounds on auto one now that's a real small piece getting a pretty dis decent signal Let's go ahead and uh, raise it up and see how high we can get a signal with this small piece. Okay, I've got it raised up to about an inch and a quarter. We're still in auto one. Here's the smallest piece. Let's see what we get. It's getting it, but it's barely there. If I bring it up anymore, it's going away. So we're gonna say for the small piece in auto one, we're getting a max height of an inch and a quarter okay let's go to the next one okay so now we're in auto two the same piece we're at the same height an inch and a quarter let's see what we get in auto two much better response remember in auto one we were barely getting that you can hear that pretty good in auto two let's see how high we can get it up okay still in auto two we've raised it up a little bit to where i think is about the highest we can get it without losing our signal and I'm gonna say we're at about an inch and three quarters. Let's see what it sounds like. I might be able to go up a 16th or a little bit more, but that's about it. So let's say an inch and three quarters, auto two. Okay, so now we got the point one one of a gram we're starting off at the same height with an inch and three quarters. I realized I forgot to put the dirt in between the last target, but that'll be okay. We got some dirt there. The machine's ground balanced. Auto one, 0.11 of a gram, inch and three quarters. You're definitely gonna dig that target. Let's raise it up and see how high we can get it. Okay, we're still in auto one, the 0.11 of a gram piece and we have now gotten it up to about three and three-eighths of an inch. I would dig that. Any higher than that though and it starts disappearing. 
So for this one, we're gonna say three and three eighths for auto one point one one of a gram. All right, we switched over to auto two now. We're still with the point one one of a gram. We're still at three inches and three eighths, and we've reground balanced as well. Here we go. Much better signal in auto two on everything. Let's see how much more depth we can get in auto two on this one. All right, now we're in auto two still. Raised it up. We're about four and a quarter for our height. Let's see what we got. That's pretty good. So we're getting four inches plus on a tenth of a gram in auto two. That's pretty impressive. Let's move on to the next piece. Okay, so now we're on the next piece at 0.55 grams. It's basically a half gram. We went back to auto one and we are still at four inches and a quarter. Let's see what we get. Hey, it likes it. Let's see how high we can get it. Okay. Still an auto one on the 5.5 piece. We've moved it up to about five inches. Let's see what we get. It's still there. And that's about as high as we're gonna get it without losing it. So we're gonna say five inches is the max on this half gram piece. Okay, so we're now on auto two with the 0.55 of a gram piece. Let's see what we get at five inches. Now, you were barely getting that in auto one. It's a pretty good signal in auto two. Let's see how high we can get it up. Okay, we got it up to about five and three quarters of an inch. Let's see what it sounds like. You're barely getting it, but you dig that. Not bad. Okay, we're back in auto one. We are now gonna test the 1.24 gram piece. We're still at five and three quarters of an inch. I added an extra bag of dirt. That's about all I'm gonna do for the dirt. Let's uh, see what we get. Not too bad. Let's see how high we can get this up. Well, I messed with it a little bit. We're still on the 1.24 gram piece in auto one, and I wasn't able to get it much more higher than five and three quarter. We're pretty much maybe an eighth higher than that. I would say five and seven eighths. So that's what we get for auto one, five and seven eighths. Okay, so we're still at five and seven eighths. We've moved into auto two. Let's see what we get. Much better. Let's see how high we can get it up. Okay, we've managed to move it up to about six and three quarters. We're in auto two. This is the 1.24 gram piece. It's there, six and three quarters. Any higher than that, we're gonna lose it. Okay, so now we got the 3.37 gram. We're sitting up at about, we were at six and three quarters, but it's kind of leaning. I would say, well, we're still kind of in that area though. Maybe six and five eighths. This is auto one, let's see what we get. That's barely getting that. I don't think I'm gonna be able to raise him up anymore. So we're gonna say six and three quarters on that one. Okay, we're now in auto two mode. Same piece of gold. Let's see what we get. And that is also still at six and three quarters. 
Much better signal. We were barely getting it in auto one. So let's raise it up and see how high we can get it before we lose it. Okay, we got it up to about seven and a half inches to 3.37 gram piece. Let's take a look. Auto two. You're barely getting it. So for that, we're gonna say seven and a half inches. Okay, we're moving on to the 6.97 gram piece. Um, we're in auto one and we're still at seven and a half inches. Nothing. Not registering at all. We're gonna have to actually lower it for auto one. Interesting. Okay, so we brought it down to about seven inches. This is the 6.97 gram piece, auto one. barely getting that at seven inches it's about a seven gram piece a little bit bigger than the 3.37 they're actually were kind of similar in size so is what it is okay so we switched it over to auto two mode we're still at seven inches let's see what we got auto two likes it Let's see how far we can raise it up. Okay, so we've raised it up to about eight inches. We're in auto two. Let's see what we got. You're barely getting that. So we're gonna say eight inches. Okay, so now we got the big piece. I wish I had a 10 gram or maybe a 14 gram piece that I could use in this test, but this is the next step up for me. Um, we're at seven inches right now in auto one. It's gonna scream. Okay. I'm gonna have to raise the camera up and the piece up. This is gonna go up quite a ways. All right, we're back. I moved the camera up. And I moved the piece up, and it still may not be enough. Um, right now we're in auto one. This piece is sitting up about 13 inches. I wanted to add that this piece is probably about two and a half inches long by maybe an inch and a quarter wide, somewhere in there. So here we go. It's just barely getting that at 13 inches in auto one. Let's try auto two. Okay, we're in auto two now. Let's see how it sounds. 13 inches. All right, let's raise it up. See how high we can get it. Okay, so I got it up about 15 inches. We're still in auto two. Let's see what we got. Well, it's still there. So that's what we're gonna say, 15 inches, auto two. So let's move on to the big coil and we're gonna go through the exact same process and see what the difference is at the end of the video. Okay, so we switched coils. We now have the 10 by six elliptical coil and we have the 0 0.01 gram piece at, I don't know, quarter inch. Let's see what we get. It's getting it. This is also an auto one. Let's see how high we can get it up. Okay, so we got it in auto one. We are about a quarter of an inch high. I can't get it any higher than this with this little piece. and I'm barely getting a chirp one way. So I'm gonna say a quarter inch. All right, we're now in auto two. We're still about a quarter of an inch, small piece to see what we get. Now 
Now that was barely <laughs> chirping in auto one. At least we're getting a signal. Let's raise it up and see how high we can get it. Okay, so now we're about at an inch and a quarter, still in auto two. That's just barely chirping at you, inch and a quarter. All right, we're moving on to the next size up, which is 0.11 of a gram. It's still at an inch and a quarter. We're in auto one. No problem. Let's see how high we can get it up. Still in auto one. We've got it up to about three and a quarter inches. Let's see what we get. Not too bad. Any higher, we're gonna lose it. Okay, we're now in auto two. Still at three and a quarter. Let's see what we get. Much better. Let's see how high we can get it. Okay, still in auto two. We've got it up to about four and four inches and an eighth. Let's see what we get. It's just barely chirping. I'm gonna say anything higher than that. It's gonna, we're not gonna have a signal, so. Four and an eighth. Okay, so we're now back down into auto one. I'm on the next size up, which is a 0.55 of a gram piece. And we're still at about four and an eighth. Let's see what we get. No problem. Let's see how high we can get it up. Okay, so now we're about five inches out of one, 0.55 of a gram. Looks like five inches is the magic number. Okay, so we've moved it into auto two. We're still at five inches, the 0.55 gram piece. See what we get. Pretty good. That's five inches. Let's raise it up and see how high we can get it. Okay, we got it up to about five and three quarters of an inch. Let's see what we get. Not too bad. So five and three quarters of an inch. Okay, so now we've moved on into the next size, which is 1.24 of a gram. We're still at five and three quarters of an inch, auto one. It's doing pretty good. Let's raise it up and see how high we can get it. Okay, we're up at six inches. Auto one, the 1.24 gram piece. Anything higher than that, we're gonna lose it. So six inches. Okay, so we're now in auto two, 1.24 gram piece at six inches. Pretty good. Let's see how high we can get it. Okay, auto two, we're up about six and three quarters of an inch. Let's see what we get. Pretty good. We're at six and three quarters and barely getting it. Okay, so now we have our next size up, which is 3.37 of a gram. It's at six and three quarters and we're in auto one. No problem. Let's see how high we can get it up. Okay, we've raised it up just very little actually, only about an eighth of an inch. Anything more and I think we're gonna lose this. So here we go, auto one, 3.37 gram, uh, six and seven eighths. Might be able to get a little bit more out of that. Just to be safe, I'm gonna call that seven inches. Okay, so now we're in auto two, still at six and seven eighths or so. 
and we have the 3.37 gram piece. Whoa. Well, you saw it was doing pretty good. Let's see how high we can raise it up. Okay, we're now at about eight inches, the 3.37 gram piece, auto two. Anything more than that, we're gonna lose it. Okay, so now we are on the 6.97 gram piece. We are still at eight inches in auto one now. It's barely getting it. And to be honest with you, I don't think I'm gonna be able to bring that up anymore. I'm gonna call that eight inches. All right, still at eight inches. Auto two. No problem. Let's raise it up and see how high we can get it. Okay, I now have it at about eight and three quarters of an inch. Auto two, the 6.97 gram piece. And it's getting it. So we're gonna say eight and three quarters. Okay, so now we are on the 69 gram piece, which actually has about 28 to 30 grams of gold in it. We're at eight inches and an auto one. No issues. Let's see how high we can get it. Okay, so now we got it up about 14 inches. We're in auto one. All right, it's getting it. Any more and it's gonna go away. Whoops. Let's move on to auto two. Okay, we're in auto two now and we got it up to about 15 and three quarters of an inch. That's about as good as you're gonna get. You might get it a little higher. We're gonna call that 15 and three quarters. So here are the final results. It looks like both coils came in pretty close with each other. I don't see a whole lot of benefit in using the bigger coil, um, other than maybe getting better ground coverage. I'm not exactly sure how the two match up as far as ground conditions are. That would be a whole nother test that I would actually personally like to see what the difference is. But as you can see, in auto one with the small coil on the smallest piece of gold, I was getting an inch and a quarter for depth. But on the large coil in auto one, I was only getting a quarter inch on that piece. So with the large coil, you got a lot of potential to miss a lot of smaller pieces. Um, and obviously with the large coil, you're gonna pick up a little bit of extra depth, but it's looking like a half inch, an inch three quarters of an inch, something like that. It doesn't look like it's that major. Very interesting test. I'm gonna leave these results up here for a little while for you guys to take a look at, maybe take a picture. Uh, also uh, post a picture of these results in the Nugget Shooter form if you wanna get a chance to download it or something. Um, I appreciate everybody watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, and let me know in the comments what you thought about all this. Did this seem like something that's accurate or was it worthless? I don't know. I did my best, I hope you liked it. I appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.